I'm gonna give you a little oh, tiny so squirt. Teaching is who I am. I really think it's what I was put on this earth to do. Let's just go like this. Are you ready? Yes. What letter says? Um. Mrs. Scott, she had a, her very own unique technique on how to teach us. She made school fun. You have to get kids excited about learning. Doing something tactile where they can feel it really helps them internalize how they're supposed to form the letters. And once they're excited and feel like they're experiencing school, then you create lifelong learners. Something that Elizabeth says a lot is that everything's always going back to the children, what's best for the children. Kids are always at the center of every decision I make and keeping that as my focus made it clear to me that we needed to come up with systems that look at who they are as an individual and not necessarily as a grade level or as a class. We had to set up reading groups with all of our different levels. I'll be tearing my hair out. I'll be like, Elizabeth, I need you to help me. She'll put it in front of her and she'll do it in literally five minutes. It's amazing to watch. This is what I would do. Tell me if it works for you. I'm an expert at recognizing quickly what kids need and designing interventions that work for them. Not only is she helping my classroom to do that, she's doing it with the entire school. I don't know how we would get that accomplished without her. The intervention groups that Elizabeth runs are basically based around the student needs. So you'll have nine kids come to you? She is one of the people that looks at all the data. She knows their likes, their interests, their families. She goes above and beyond to really research that so that she knows what this whole child needs to move ahead. I had a lot of energy. When she see that I was turning and acting wild, she adapted to what I needed and she helped me out a lot. Elizabeth, in her teacher leader role, is also an instructional coach. That is a huge position that benefits everybody. I have been struggling with guided reading. She makes herself always available, and she's very knowledgeable in what she does. And in all those hats that she wears, she gives you 100% of everything she does. There's nothing better than seeing that light bulb go off, whether it be with a little kid learning how to read, or an adult saying, oh my gosh, now I understand how we make intervention groups. That's what motivates me. Whatever aspect she's involved with, her influence, it goes so much behind just her classroom or even her individual school, it goes district wide. And some of those initiatives have made an impact upon the entire Connecticut state educational system. Working in a tough district as she is working in, what she is saying to others is, if you keep wanting to be better, each and every day, you will reach excellence. She can move mountains with their reading. It's really incredible what she can do with a student and a book. I think every single person has the power to change the world a little bit at a time. If they do their part, and we all do our little part, this world's gonna get better.